Oh yeah, my my dude Subaru got stabbed the fuck up. That delay pissed me off. I, if if everything had reset, if everything had reset at that point, I would have been pissed off. So if he dies again, does that mean everything gets reset? Is that gonna be a plot point? Oh shit. Amelia's healing power, huh? Oh yeah, and her name is Amelia. Damn, where are we? Damn, Princess Peach's castle? There's a painting! Let's jump in it! <laughs> Woohoo! At any rate, I guess I escaped by the return to death, turn by death this time. It's kind of a flawed story for about being summoned. Dude, are we lost? He's probably lost already. Mate, we just, we just saw that painting. I'll be stuck in it until I find the correct room, right? Tried and true pattern tells me it's probably behind the first door! First NPC found! Your cute face is gonna go to waste if you're that cold. Come on, smile, smile! That is sense of sneer is the only smile worth giving you. you. Mad because I guessed on my first try. So what's this place anyway? This is Betty's multi-purpose room. It's supposed to be both a library and a bedroom. You're one of those manual girls that everyone's into now. Betty's had just about enough. So I bet it's time to teach you a lesson. Well, are you gonna beat me up? <laughs> Don't you dare move. Any last words? Don't hurt me. Death. <laughs> ah! What did you do to me, you drill lolly? Not much. I suppose all I did was collect the mana within your body. On the bright side, I know you're not an enemy. You're not human, are you? I'm not talking about your personality. I suppose even you would notice. Don't measure a proud noble being by your standards, human. Is that gonna be her voice? <laughs> Just the deepest fucking voice I could do possible? Let's do it. <laughs> if anyone at this point is wondering why I, why I read this like I'm voice acting this shit, I don't know, it's just fun. So I'm, I'm gonna do it less this time around, but uh, you know. Okay, so I don't know if I should mention it in this episode, but oh my god. Alright, so Amelia's voice actor is Miki from Gakko Garashi. And there's one character we haven't seen yet, but uh, Rem is Yuki's voice actor. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this means. Just I just wanted to point it out. So we got we got both Miki and Yuki in the same show. Today we're gonna be doing episode four of ReZero. Last time we finally took down that uh gut gut loving witch that we she i don't think she's a witch I, I i like i can't use the word witch because i think there's actually witches in this world so the the gut loving bitch we took down that gut loving big titty woman reinhardt he, he saw the damn uh exigna whatever it, ever, whatever it was and now he's taken felt to like baby jail or something <laughs> she's taken felt to baby jail so let's see how that unfolds. I have a lot of questions, but uh, I know the ceiling. Oh, he has awakened, sister. Indeed, he has awakened, Rem. No, I woke up earlier, so this would be the third time. My, what a deadbeat thing to say. Did you hear that, sister? Yes, I did. He truly hear a loser's words. Ugh! Maid uniforms are a thing in this world, too! Boys imagine maids in the living embodiment of elegance. Ugh! But I can live with this too! You're being violated in our guest's mind, sister. It is terrible. You're experiencing the ultimate shame in our guest's mind, Rem. And then there's to make the power of my fantasies. You're both fair prey in them. And never mind! Never- Shoo! <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Whoever picked that outfit totally gets it! Yo, we got- we got Yuki and we got Miki in the same room. <laughs> it's a reunion. I can hear it now. I can hear it. I can hear the Yuki. I can hear the Yuki in Rem's voice. I can hear it. And I can hear the Miki as well. Now that I know, it's it, I can't unhear it. You're in her depths now. You're in her depth. Can we talk about whatever the f happened before all this? Like, can we explain this or are we just kind of going to move past it? I mean, what now? Are we Disney? Disney? 
Just Disney? <laughs> Disney Castle? Those are unusual movements. Warm up exercises. <laughs> Let's do some warm up exercises. Bounce on both feet to loosen up your body. Oh shit. Just do what I do. Okay. Okay, Subaru. Drill the essence of radio calistics into you. Yeah. I wish I had a face cam for stuff like this. Victory! 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 Hi, Subaru. Great morning, isn't it? It's been weird. <laughs> Was good, Puck. Never thank Subaru enough. I have to repay him somehow. Let me pay your fur whenever I want. For a connoisseur of fine fur like myself. I want some Puck fur. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good boy. You really are strange, Subaru. Uh, I need a new change of pants. Our Lord Razawala Sama. The Lord's here? I suppose you are as dumb as you. Okay. Just that word means nothing good. I've never heard it before, but it irritates me. Oh, quit putting on this fake act. You fake little monster. My, my, how unusual to see you here, Beatrice. Have you decided to dine with me? Who the fuck showed up? The Joker? Like, <laughs> look at that outfit. You guys hired a clown to entertain you before each meal? I never understand how rich folks think. To who that man is? Oh no, it's quite alright, really, Azama. I'm the lord of this manor. The Joker! <laughs> Ali! <laughs> I can't do it like a fucking Mark Hamill impression, so whatever. This was cooked by the blue haired one. Hi, you. I can't unhear Yuki. As soon as I found out that Yuki voiced this character, I can't unhear it. I can't unhear it. That's Yuki. And we got Miki here too. Don't you hear it? This is weird. I'm generally good at all household tasks. I'm better at cleaning and laundry than my sister. So basically, Yuki split herself into two. <laughs> Something bad going down? Well, it's not exactly an agreeable position. After all, Luguaniga is currently without a king. Please, there's no need to be concerned. Everyone is well aware of this reality. No wonder there's just thieves running around in the streets. There's slums. This, ki this kingdom is in ruins. An epidemic struck the royal castle. Oh, I see. Kind of topical, but... <laughs> the new king. Seems like a role fit for... A king! On top of that, in contact with Emilia-sama, that's being connected to my household. And does that mean I should be the king? It's natural to address someone of a higher status with all due respect. So wait, she's higher status? Right now I'm a candidate to become the 42nd ruler of the kingdom of Luguaniga. Oh, I vote for her! I vote for her! <laughs> I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. Hey, it's that insignia. This qualifies one as candidate for king. It's a touchstone for determining if one is worthy of the throne. Oh, okay. And 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 then Felt was gonna use that? Then whoever has it becomes king or queen. Passing thought that someone who cannot protect an entire insignia is unfit to rule an entire nation would spell the end of it. You did a damn good job, Sumeru. He wants me. Bigger rewards. Really say the word. You can have anything your heart desires. You're giving him too much power. <laughs> In that case, I have one request. The death of you all! <laughs> Hire me to work in this mansion. <laughs> Achoo. Is there anything else that fit you, Subaru? Oddly, some girl stuff fit me, but... Why don't you tailor me a suit? <laughs> you gotta tailor me a suit. What are they, what are they gonna do to me? Wait, what are they gonna do? <laughs> Tickles a guy in all kinds of ways. The rich life. This beast is someone's door crossing. The only way to find her is to try every door in the mansion. <laughs> Librarian who oversees Rosal's library. So he's like a warlock. <laughs> okay, thank you. I mean, you have pink hair, so 
Hmm. Target sighted. <laughs> Target sighted. <laughs> but then again, Rem has Yuki's voice, so what does that mean? What does that mean? So Rem has Yuki's voice, but Ram has Yuki's hair and eyes. Hmm, so which one do we bully? Which one gets bullied? R Ram or Rem? Who gets bullied? The one with Yuki's voice or the one that looks like Yuki? God, he's losing a lot of blood again! Someone help him! She got the scales, why are you jealous? What did this turn into, Kobayashi's Dragon Mate? Five days since Super Kun came to the mansion. How has he been? But now we should be seeing something. Cooking, laundry, cleaning. He's incompetent at all of them. What of the potential that he's a spy? An idea exists, but I believe the possibility is slim. For better or worse. Especially for the worst, he's too conspicuous. If he's too conspicuous, despite that possibility, he's certainly carefree. So you like this one the most? You like the pink haired one the most? Okay. They're only children. If we leave them be, nothing will happen. It's boring when I'm with you, Amelia Ten. My man working? How, how, so what's the pay exactly? What are we getting paid here exactly? The moon sure is pretty. True beauty is always beyond our reach. Don't you think you're being too unambitious? Like earlier with Puck, when you asked for my name back at the capital. You don't get it, Amelia Tan. I want what I want at that exact moment, and I want it from the bottom of my heart. He lives life to the fullest. He lives in the moment, damn! I'm in a new land, nervous and unsure of my future. I had no expectation for tomorrow. Looking back on it calmly, I'm sure there were other things I should have wanted. But I can't lie to myself. What matters is right now. Right here, right now. I'm flat broke right now. Could cheat him out of a fortune and live it up. I can just as easily obtain a source of livelihood, right? In that case, couldn't you become a permanent guest rather than an employee? I never thought of that! You want me to use my healing magic? Nah, I'm fine like this. It's kind of hard to explain, but... I guess I kind of like proof of the effort I put in. I actually dislike dis exerting myself, you know. Learning to do something I couldn't do before as well. It's not such a bad feeling. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I think you're right. You're such a silly man. I don't know about that reaction, but you're supposed to fall for me again. Again, there was no first time. Honestly, you're so silly. Anyway, I know you're working hard. But how did your hands get so turned up? Got this one with a knife in the kitchen. This one happened in the evening when I went to shopping in town. Those kids are ruthless. They hit me, kick me, and wipe their runny noses on me. And see you being good with small children, Subaru. I know! Maybe we can have kids. <laughs> Might cause you trouble if we're seen together. Okay, got it. Let's go. You listening to me? I am. I hang on to every word you say, Amelia Tan. It's only after you finish all your work and I have a break from my studies, okay? All right, Roger that. <laughs> hey, Lolly girl, you still up? You suppose you could break through my door crossing like it's nothing now? Just wanted to say hello before I went to bed. <laughs> For a day tomorrow, we'll come up with an excuse to ditch those kids at the village. One puck, two pucks, a hundred and one pucks. New dawn has come, a dawn of hope. Natsuki Subaru will make great strides today. What? Are you calling me a guest? You two and your jokes. No! Fucking again? Oh no. Now we're trapped again. <laughs> what? Okay. We're just gonna do this over and over. So when does it... I... <sighs> <laughs> Shut up, Yuki. <laughs> Shut up, Yuki. The morning of our promise is still distant. Ah, <sighs> okay. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked.
We're fucked. What's going on? What's going on? Anyways, okay, so that was episode four of ReZero. Basically, Subaru's stuck. He's stuck again. I don't know. This is pretty much like when you when you save when you save a game and you exit without quitting and then you go back, pretty much. So basically, Subaru died and he came back and then he actually learned to save once he got past the the boss. Now he's just resetting at that point, which is weird. So he's gotta he's gotta save again. Subaru needs to save his files. He needs to he needs to save his progress. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's what they're getting at here. Subaru keeps exiting without saving. Okay. He needs to save. So yeah, that was ReZero, episode 4. I cannot get over that we both have we have Miki and Yuki. And and I can't and I can't unhear the Yuki. I can't unhear it. So who do we bully? Do we bully Rem who has Yuki's voice? Or do we bully Ram? Because she has the pink hair and the red eyes, you know, she looks like Yuki. I think I think we have to go with the the pink hair because uh, that's, that's that's the rule, you know. Pink hair must get bullied. Pink hair equal bully. <laughs> the bullying of the pink hairs continues even to this show. So yeah, that was uh, Re Zero Episode Four, and I'll see you guys in Episode Five.